tension and release. It's a staple of all music, and I'm going to show you how the Beatles changed the relationship between tension and release with their 1966 album, Revolver. Now, the typical way you create tension in music is by establishing a root or tonic chord, moving away from it into other zones, chords, modal areas, and then back to that root chord, releasing the tension. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, if you go back to 12th century religious music, you often had nothing more than a pedal, so named because the organist was actually pressing a pedal, and the melody just simply was over top that pedal, and you resolved any tension by going back to the same note as the pedal. Very, very simple, before we had all of these fancy chord changes. Well, fast forward to 1966. The Beatles are going to bring back that technique of using a pedal on the album Revolver. Where did they get this idea? Well, it so happens they've been listening to a lot of Indian or Eastern music. And oftentimes, Eastern music has an instrument like a tambora playing a pedal. And the other instruments, the doruba, the sitar, solo over top. And you resolve it when you go back to that root note. Well, the Beatles use this technique all throughout Revolver. In fact, John, Paul, and George all do it. Take George's song, Love You Too, from side one of Revolver. He starts with a C pedal, and this Indian-flavored song has him singing over top. Take Paul's Got to Get You Into My Life. Not a song you would expect to be Eastern flavored, but it is because it has that pedal, this time on G. And now an F chord, but the G is still in the bass, creating that tension, makes you want to go back to the G. And finally, John Lennon's Tomorrow Never Knows. Starts with a C chord and stays on a C chord for the entire song. How do we create tension? By bringing in a B flat with an organ or with tape loops over top and then back to the C. So there are three examples that show you the Beatles' genius, how they took a technique from the 12th century and brought it forward to their album Revolver in 1966.